Okay, uh, uh, actually I'm here, I'm going to talk about, I just, uh, what I learned, there is a big take back, uh, take away from uh, the last year HR Refresh, and it's actually helped in my work actually. So I just want to just show what actually it is, what's the greatest take away on the last HR Refresh. So it's it's based on the current work, what I am right now doing. It's about actually uh, the uh, product what I am working on the company. It's actually uh, the task is to rewrite all the CSS. They want to throw the current CSS away and they want to make it a new CSS. It's because of a couple of reasons. Because we we provide a customers uh, uh, the option for rebrand. Actually, we will make our product website would just look like their uh, client websites. So what happened is like uh, when we have written a lot of sheets, sorry, CSS, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> really, uh, CSS. <laughs> and when the clients they came with uh, different years and you know the naming collision happened there are a lot of big problems and the company and people they're wasting a lot of time in writing again CSS again 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 and me too and so actually our, our CSS structure is like that first we have a Twitter bootstrap and then we have a version 1 CSS there I don't know why they're keeping I don't know it's still there and there's a version 2 CSS is there for the new version and the rebrand CSS rebrand is like what the customized CSS but actually the problem is, is a modularity. It doesn't have any modularity because the CSS is like, it's around all the, every, everywhere, like it's there on this folder, it's on X folder, it's on Y folder, it's on Z, and I don't know, somewhere there. And also there's a lot of duplicate, uh, like CSS style duplicators there. And because of this duplicacy, it's, I, it's not uh, possible to maintain the code. And also, uh, it's not possible to reuse, reuse and uh, it's not readable. Readable in the sense, I mean, like the classes which is called SRCH underscore LNK. I don't know what it is. I just go and ask the person who wrote it. And when I just look into the CSS, uh, current CSS base, it's look like, you know, it's worse than a terrorist attack. I don't know. It's, it's like massive thing. And I was just getting into the project. So when I first get in the project, I was thinking about a, a great, great methodology called BAM. You remember that this lady Barbara, she she was last year in the Meta Refresh, she talked about a uh, methodology called BAM. BAM is actually stands for Block Element Modifier. It's actually, it's saying like, okay, you have a, you have a website and the concept is like your website is built up of multiple components actually. So if you just, you just see this website and I'm splitting it into different components, you can see that's a sidebar and there's a wrapper and some tiles. This is actually I used here. So what I need to is like first find out the components of my website and then write the CSS. So uh, according to BAM, actually here I'm just taking some uh, two styles from here. Uh, it's actually, a, I've called that component as tile. So here the blocky style, we named the blocky style and I found the elements like, okay, it's have a header there and a meta tag and some description and a more link. So I just added, okay, these are the elements of this block. And then the modifiers. Modifiers is actually the different presentation states uh, of a particular CSS, like for example, here the tile it have two different presentation state. One is I just name it like big and small. But the thing is like, uh, okay, uh, yep, that's big and small. So what I what I done is like uh, then then apply a C uh, BAM syntax for writing CSS names. So actually, first you write the block name, then hyphen, then the element name, and then the double double underscore, and then uh, modifier. So I just rewrite it to the block will be dot tile and the element is dot tile header and the modifier is dot tile HTML, small and I'll be and then the HTML will look like this. If I give this HTML to anybody, he can just read this and he can easily understand what actually this piece of HTML means. Okay, this is actually a tile. I maybe okay, tile may be something. Okay, then this have a header there, it have a meta tag, it have a description and more link. It's like pretty it's it's actually readable. If I give it to any backend developer or anybody, you can easily understand okay what and it have more meaningful. And like this, you can make okay, you're having a very large large scale application. You can make different different components and you can reuse across it. For example, like login form, okay, for article, navigation is like like the, if you have a site having multiple navigation, you can just create a component and you can reuse it. And this is actually, like you, can, you just try it and you can make different components like that and it is very useful. You can use it across any any of your project. You can keep your CSS uh, like component base. And this is actually the biggest takeaway what I get in the last meta refresh. And it's actually saved my, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the second thing is like I came to realize one more thing. It's actually Rache is not famous for vodka. It's also famous for BAM. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, seriously, I know Russia is only for vodka, AK-47, mix 29. But right now, I know Russia is for a good bet. And yeah, that's it. Thank you and happy Valentine's Day.